Welcome to Body Health Nexus Channel, Smart Wellness Solutions, your trusted source for navigating health and wellness in your golden years. In this video, we'll explore the causes and solutions for drug-induced hair loss. Hair loss, or alopecia, affects millions worldwide, impacting both men and women across different ages. Many cases are due to genetic factors, lifestyle choices, or stress, but a lesser-known cause is drug-induced hair loss. This occurs when certain medications disrupt the hair growth cycle, leading to thinning or shedding. Creating awareness around drug-induced hair loss is crucial for those starting new medications or experiencing unexpected hair loss patterns. This article explores the causes, types, prevention, and treatment options for drug-induced hair loss to guide those affected. Drug-induced hair loss occurs when certain medications interfere with normal hair growth cycles, leading to hair shedding or thinning. Medications affect hair growth in different ways. Some interfere with hair follicle cell division, others impact hormonal balance or cause inflammation around follicles. There are two main types of drug-induced hair loss, telogen effluvium. This is the most common form of drug-induced hair loss. Telogen effluvium occurs when medications disrupt the hair growth cycle, causing hair follicles to enter the resting or telogen phase early. After two to four months, hair sheds more noticeably. Fortunately, telogen effluvium is usually temporary, and hair growth often resumes within a few months after stopping the medication. Anagen effluvium. This type of hair loss affects the anagen phase and is commonly caused by drugs targeting rapidly dividing cells. It's most often seen in patients undergoing chemotherapy, as these drugs target all rapidly dividing cells, including those in hair follicles. Anagen effluvium results in more rapid and significant hair loss compared to telogen effluvium, often leading to noticeable thinning. Several drugs can cause hair loss in men and women, let's look at some common ones. Chemotherapy drugs. These drugs are a well-known cause of hair loss. They target rapidly dividing cancer cells but also affect other rapidly dividing cells, including those in hair follicles. The result is typically antigen effluvium causing significant hair loss. Blood thinners, or anticoagulants like heparin and warfarin, can sometimes cause telogen effluvium. This happens due to their impact on blood circulation and nutrient delivery to hair follicles. Beta blockers are medications commonly used for treating high blood pressure and various heart conditions. Drugs such as atenolol and metoprolol have been associated with hair thinning and shedding. Antidepressants, specifically selective serotonin reuptake inhibitors or SSRIs like fluoxetine, also known as Prozac and sertraline known as Zoloft, can cause telogen effluvium. This affects hair density and growth. Birth control pills, hormone replacement therapies, and treatments for polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS may impact hair due to hormonal fluctuations. This can result in telogen and anagen effluvium. Acne medications. Isotretinoin, which is commonly prescribed for acne, can impact hair growth as it often interferes with the body's balance of vitamin A. Some antibiotics may impact the gut microbiome and alter nutrient absorption indirectly affecting hair health. One of the biggest challenges with drug-induced hair loss is that it often goes unrecognized, as hair loss may not immediately occur after starting a new medication. Symptoms of drug-induced hair loss include excessive hair shedding often noticed while brushing or showering, thinning hair or patches of hair loss, noticeable increase in hair strands on clothing or pillows. When hair loss symptoms emerge, consult a healthcare provider to distinguish drug-induced hair loss from other alopecia. This might include a review of medications, physical examination, blood tests, and sometimes a scalp biopsy. For those who have experienced drug-induced hair loss or want to prevent it, here are some strategies that may help. Discuss alternatives with your doctor. Before starting a new medication, consult your doctor about its side effects, including hair loss. If hair loss is a concern, ask if there are alternative drugs with lower risk. 
Adjust the dosage. Sometimes a lower dosage can mitigate hair loss. However, this should be done under medical supervision, as adjusting doses can affect the drug's efficacy. Stay nourished. Nutritional support, particularly an adequate intake of protein, iron, vitamins B and D, and zinc, is vital for hair health. If medications affect nutrient absorption, supplements may help. Follow basic diet rules from an Ayurveda doctor. Gentle hair care. Use gentle, sulfate-free shampoos and conditioners. Avoid excessive heat styling and harsh treatments that worsen hair fragility. Natural Ayurvedic herbal shampoos help to get rid of the problem with gentle care. Consider topical treatments. Consult with a dermatologist or healthcare provider to see if any treatment options are suitable for you. Stress can exacerbate hair loss, especially telogen effluvium. Practices like mindfulness, yoga, and meditation may reduce stress and improve hair health. Fortunately, most cases of drug-induced hair loss are reversible once the medication is stopped. For those seeking treatment options to accelerate recovery, it's best to approach their family physician or an Ayurveda physician. Drug-induced hair loss is an often overlooked side effect that can have a significant emotional impact. While it's generally temporary and reversible, hair loss can be distressing, impacting self-esteem and quality of life. By increasing awareness and encouraging communication with healthcare providers, those affected can make informed decisions about managing hair loss. Proactive hair care, balanced nutrition, and suitable treatment options can help individuals manage drug-induced hair loss. Confidently. Thank you for watching Body Health Nexus. We trust this information helps you make better informed choices when it comes to your wellness journey. Your well-being is truly priceless. Remember, stay informed, stay healthy, and always seek advice from your healthcare professional before making any changes. Until next time, take care of yourself and keep prioritizing your health.